Hello everybody, it's finally time. Welcome to my new playthrough. This time I am playing Struggle, Antaresian Legacy. This is a very challenging megawad created by Antares of the Doom community. So, this took a while to start up just because I've been doing a bit of research and I've had to get some things ready. For example, you might notice the new base rig. Yeah, I've been um, commissioning this one for a while finally came out really nicely, but not only that, but I've been looking up some new mods to showcase, and I found one that is called Beautiful Doom that I really enjoyed. Um, it looks very nice, changes all sorts of things about the game, such as the item graphics and all sorts of other things. However, Antaresian Legacy changes a lot of basic systems about Doom, so unfortunately I had to disable a lot of the settings of Beautiful Doom just so it runs, you know, in a vanilla fashion. I don't want to play this game as unintended by the, uh, the author of the Megawatt, so yeah, a lot of things have been disabled, but there's still some things left behind, like the item graphics, you can see in these helmets down here, so there is that. Other than that, I want to play this game as purely as I can, so alright, let's begin. This is map number one, at the entrance. There are almost 100 enemies and two secrets. Right off the bat, this is going to be pretty challenging, so... Um, let's go ahead and get our first one going. Beautiful Doom also has some new um, blood effects, but nothing too fancy. Um, just because it's not really compatible with this Megawad, there's a lot of different changes. So, yeah, like I said, I have to disable a lot of different things, which is unfortunate, but, you know, that's just how this Megawad is. It's got a lot of um, custom assets, changes a lot of basic systems. So going down here, we're going to come across a big ambush. I might even die. I mean, this, this Megawatt is very difficult. But it looks like it came out okay. I mean, we're, we're kind of dying, but uh, we got some stuff around here. I think I saw a shotgun over there in the middle. Don't get cornered, don't get cornered down. Alright. Pick up what looks like a Spaz-12. The shotgun in this game is a little weaker, however, it is um, also a little faster. So there's a bit of balance there. Kill these imps up here. Oh, the snipers. Yeah, I didn't even talk about the pistol. It looks like it has burst fire now. It's um, fairly better than the, uh, than the original one, that's for sure. Take out these imps here. Alright, cool. Now, Antares is known for his um, very complex, intricate maps, so don't be surprised if I get lost here and there, even though I have played a lot of these maps already. It's kind of a, um, a partially blind playthrough. And I did a lot of practice runs on certain maps. Yeah, again, don't be surprised if I tend to forget things, just because these are very very complex maps. Very interesting to look at, too. Okay, so, we're gonna unveil... Oops, no. Is that you? Shoot that guy. Alright. So, once we push that button, we have this target here that we can shoot. Let's go ahead and do that. And, um, that opens this portal. Which lands us on top of the blue key card. Okay, this game is kind of, uh, cramping my style right now. Jesus Christ. Alright, get this stim pack here. Oh, it looks like we're out of uh, shotgun shells. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. Another zombie man up here. Kill him. Okay. So far, so good, but you can tell that this uh, Megawatt does not play around. Okay, very easy to tell. Oh my god. Can I shoot this guy? Alright. So we got the blue key card. Um, so we'll go back down. Go through here. I'm actually navigating this map quite well, but I've played it quite a few times already, so. <laughs> I guess it was sort of in preparation for the, for the let's play. Alright, open this door and be careful because behind you are some enemies that are trying to ambush you. No worries. We got this in the bag. I already know what's coming up. For the most part. 
Okay, we got a first revenant, and he does behave differently. I actually forgot to mention that. The zombie men also behave differently as well. And that's kind of what causes the mod to not be compatible in certain ways. Like, I have to disable its monsters. I have to, of course, disable weapons because of all the custom weapons. But the revenants now shoot um, straight projectiles all the time, two in succession. But they are really fast compared to the old ones. And as you saw with the zombie men, they know how to shoot their rifles now, <laughs> instead of shooting it semi-auto. Alright, so this is a secret door. Go ahead and open it. Go up the elevator to go outside and get this beautiful rocket launcher, which is now a grenade launcher. This thing is amazing. It shoots very fast, and it is more powerful as well. So get the green armor. There's also something else about the ammo. It is used for another gun that is quite unexpected, but it's, it'll be a while before we get there. So. Watch out for that zombie man. I'm gonna take out those hit scanners ASAP. I don't think anything about the imp has changed, but um, apparently this uh, beautiful Doom it does have compatibility settings. It gives you all sorts of things and aspects that you can change and disable if the mod calls for it. And, yeah, there is a custom war system, but it only works right now with monsters that are pure vanilla. Uh, monsters that have not been modified. And apparently something about the pinky and the, the imp have changed because it doesn't really, it doesn't really work with them. They're supposed to have custom animations. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I guess something might have changed about that. Maybe damage outfit, or I'm not sure what. Oh, and you guys might notice, coming from F Eternity, I have changed the HUD back to the MC HUD. It's just, it's a little, um, it's a little fat. It takes up a lot of the screen. However, I love that it highlights numbers and such with colors, and I love that it shows you your progress in the form of percentages. So I just went ahead and went back to it. Oh, we got a lot of activity down here. I think I see a shotgun or two. A couple shotgunners, actually. Oh, I forgot to get a secret. Hold on. This wall right here can drop. You guys might be able to remember this room here. Yeah, you can get this at the very beginning if you want to. You can get some nice armor. Blow that shit up. Got a nice double kill there. Kill okay, this dude. I think all the shotgunners died. <laughs> What a bunch of scrubs. Okay, so we still have some enemies left, but we got the red key, so let's go back up here. Oh, some more shotgunners, watch out. Alright, alright, go through the red door here. So we'll find another Kako. This uh, Mega Bog really has some sort of energy in it that I really enjoy. Right from the get go, we got all these monsters. Ooh. Oh, this is a new one right here. We got Spectre Kaku Demons. But they are a little weaker than their visible counterparts. They have less health. So there is that. Oh, more enemies. Alright. Now those fools are dead. Let's go ahead and. I'm actually not sure what to do now. I pushed a Bhutan. Hmm. What did that do? I don't rightly know. Hmm. I think we have to go through this door now, but... Was there something blocking this before? Oh no, we've already been here. Oh, we got some more enemies here though. That must mean we're going the right way. Yes, this balcony. Okay, this goes right to the exit, so we're all good. All good on secrets, and the last two enemies are through here. They are shotgunners. Take him out. Alright. That's at the entrance, the first map of Struggle. Alright, so, like I said, this Megawad has a certain energy about it. If you enjoyed Female from Eveternity, this Megawad has 
maps that are like that everywhere. This Megawatt does not play around, guys. It's gonna be very difficult, and I'm not sure I'm at the right skill level to be taking this on with this challenge, but I'm gonna do my best. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this new playthrough. Um, there'll be more to come here soon, and yeah, that's all I've got for now. I'll see you guys in the next map. Thank you very much for watching.